Hey guys, guess what? After five years, I'm finally right. Because there's a new Guitar Hero coming out. <laughs> finally happening. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyway, so, yesterday was a big announcement. They announced that a new Guitar Hero is coming out. And guess what? It's made by Freestyle Games. Who, who, was, who was saying that again? Oh. Anyway, so it's coming out on October 20th, 2015. It's coming out for PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and even Wii U. Yes, Nintendo, you finally get something. It's going to be about $100 in Germania or whatever. I don't know what that price will be. Probably 89 pounds, euros, things. Um, and it might be also coming to mobile devices. We'll talk about that a bit later. So basically, uh, it's going to be an FMV type of game. Uh, there's going to be live crowds. There's no more cartoony graphics, which is something that I often said they should probably get rid of because every single review is always bashing the characters about how they look juvenile or, you, you know, anyway, you've heard this all before. Uh, so it's going to be, they've developed a way to film uh, a crowd where they film it twice, but the comp the camera is computer controlled, so it's taking the exact same shots, which allows them to have a crowd give both a positive and a negative reaction. So when you play in the game, it's going to kind of uh, flip, I guess, the uh, attitude of a crowd depending on how well you do. Uh, you can see in the trailer that I'll post in the description below. Uh, that you'll see kind of how that works if you haven't seen the trailer already, but if you're subscribed to me I assume that you have Anyway, uh, the big difference about this game obviously is the new guitar. The new guitar is six buttons three and three and Also, there's no more colors now. It's all black and white. So this is gonna allow there to, them to use I guess like chord actual chord structures, but I mean nothing above you know, the second octave, but you know, it's gonna, like, you could do octave slides and stuff like that. It looks pretty daunting. Um, there's still easy, medium, hard, and expert, uh, but now they're called something totally different. The expert's called veteran now, and to be honest, when you do miss a lot of notes, it does kind of look like you're being hit by bullets in Call of Duty. It's Activision, so, you know. Um, but, uh, I mean, it looks pretty interesting. It looks pretty much like how, when I saw DJ Hero, I kind of was, uh, felt like I would kind of have to, like, go back to almost like Guitar Hero 1. Uh, there are a few concerning things about it. Uh, somebody on Something Awful that played the game said that anchoring wasn't working, as in if you press the, uh, first, uh, the first key, and the second one, the second key wouldn't register, so hopefully that's just like an anomaly and something that's not actually in the game, because then that would really make it like Guitar Freaks. Uh, I have seen video of some veteran footage, there's uh, one in GameSpot where I did see Hammer On, so it's not going to be all strumming, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the set list so far is uh, pretty polarizing to you guys, I know you want your metal and classic rock and stuff like that. Uh, so far, I'll just list the artists, I mean, in case you can't read. Uh, there's Alter Bridge, American Offers, Band of Skulls, Biffy Clyro, Black Keys, Black Fail Brides, Blitz Kids, Carrie Underwood, Ed Sheeran, Fall Out Boy, Gary Clark Jr., The Gaslight Anthem, Green Day, Yes, Activision finally got Green Day, look at that. Jake Bug, The Killers, The Lumineers, My Chemical Romance, Neon Trees, of Monsters and Men, Pierce the Veil, 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 Veal, Rolling Stones, Skaters, Skrillex, State Champs, Vampire Weekend, and like that's something where Band of Skulls album art in a screenshot was not displayed properly, and it showed modern vampires of a city, so I'm very excited about that, because that album's awesome. The War on Drugs, which are pretty much like Arcade Fire, but not Canadian, and Weezer. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is GHTV. GHTV is basically a content delivery system, kind of like a streaming MTV that's going to be curated by Freestyle Games. Uh, the way it's going to work is you're going to basically 
uh, switch into GHTV and you'll be watching a music video and then you'll have the option to start playing guitar over it. So once you're playing guitar over it, you can actually, in this mode, you can, if you have two of these new guitars locally, you and your friend can battle. But if you don't have a friend, you have no friends, <laughs> you'll be online and you can actually set a high score for that thing. And it all happens live. So when people are watching the video, they're battling. Um, I'm not exactly sure how, like, they're kind of sketchy on the details on this, but it, it basically seems like not only can you tune into different channels for different genres of music, like top 10, 80s, and stuff like that, but also you'll have an on-demand list of songs, and it basically kind of opens up this way for record labels to basically just give Activision, Freestyle Games, music videos, and have Freestyle Games track notes over them um that just seems like someone like universal music group i think is totally on board so who knows like what type of music we could uh, see come into this uh the fmv crowd stuff is only for the main set list of the game whereas ghtv is basically the dlc now i know that you're probably wondering if <laughs> your old DLC is gonna work now. It's not. And to be honest, there were not even, there wasn't even 600, sorry, there wasn't even like 700 compatible songs. And most of you that are watching now probably don't even own all the Guitar Hero DLC or might own like five songs. So do you actually really care? I mean, do you have your Xbox 360 or PS3? Okay. Plug it in and play the DLC. I don't know. It's all gone anyway. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there is no more deal, there's not going to be DLC for this game, so there's just going to be GHTV, which is a 24 hour, 7 day a week streaming service where you just kind of play over music videos. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Um, I really would like to play this game, so hopefully, you know, Activision, if you watch this video, remember me? Yeah, me, oh, okay, because <laughs> no one I, no one that I know works there anymore. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm pretty, I was very, I was a bit skeptical at first, um, it, I mean, it's a big change, I mean, I've been waiting for five years for a new GH, and this is what we're getting, and uh, I mean, a lot of people are clearly mad about it, they don't feel like they're being catered to, but I mean, why should Activision really cater to you, most of you didn't even buy their last game, so... Are, are you surprised that they have to go in a totally different direction? I mean, Rock Band 4 is coming out, and we know absolutely nothing about it. It's really exciting to have all three music games to be uh, battling out, or not really battling now, just like coexisting, you know, in this little rhythm game bubble that might grow a bit or might stay exactly the same. What do you think about GH Live? Are you into it? Um, are you not? leave a comment, or just, you know, pretend it never came back, continue without Guitar Hero. One of the big things, actually, that people are talking, it's not really um, something they can really answer fully yet, but I think that they're actually going to have these guitars be Bluetooth, have Bluetooth capabilities so it could sync up to your tablet or smartphone then I think they're going to allow a way to, I don't know, through AirPlay or maybe a special connection that it's going to hook into your TV. This means that you can play Guitar Hero without actually owning a console. Now, think about that for a second. With GHTV on your tablet or phone, it's basically like a Spotify option. Now, I don't know how much a mobile app is going to cost, but they could clearly deliver this kind of experience of this like full motion video uh, experience on that on an app. Um, so I mean that's that's pretty interesting if they can pull that off just to have you know that option of like having Guitar Hero like in your pocket or in your bag. I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, there aren't many details on it as of yet. But I know that Activision recently put Skylanders on an iPad complete with peripheral and it works perfectly. So 
Exciting stuff, guys. And girls. <laughs>